Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm from Acute Data Systems, and welcome to the Sage 100 tutorial. In today's topic, we will be talking about how to create a role, how to create a user, and how to assign a role to a user. So if you want to create a user in Sage 100, you first have to create a role for that specific user. In order to create a role, you want to go into your library master and go into role maintenance. Now let's create an accounts receivable role. Now if you look under here underneath the task tab, here is where you would set up your security within the modules in Sage 100. So let's say you want the person assigned to this role to have full access within accounts receivable. All you would have to do is check mark this box. And if I expand it, everything underneath it gets check marked as well and you're pretty much allowing them to do every task in the accounts receivable now let's pretend we don't want them to do every task in accounts receivable and we only want the person assigned to this role to do cash receipts entry only well in order to do that i'll uncheck this and i'll expand maintenance and data entry and here it is. Here's the cash receipts entry task. So I'll check mark that. And what I've done now is whoever is assigned to this role can only do cash receipts entry. Now you can set up more security options within the other modules, but I'll just leave it as this. And in the second and third tab, here's where you would set up more security options. Now underneath the security events tab, if I expand the accounts receivable, here are more security options that you can set. In the third tab, I'll uncheck this. And if I expand accounts receivable, again, here are more options that I'll let you look at it. But for now, I'll leave everything as is, and I am going to click accept. Now that we've created a role, we want to make a user now. So you want to go into user maintenance and library master. Now let's say we want to create a user for, for Lily. And I'll fill out this information here. For the password, I'll leave it blank. And now underneath here, here's where you would set what company Lily is allowed to go into. So I'll select all companies. And for the role, I'll assign her the AR role that we just created. And I'll click accept. And now we've just created a user for Lily. So now if you look to the left here, I have full rights to everything in Sage 100. So I see every module and I can pretty much go into any task. But if I were to sign in as Lily, we see that her modules are now very limited. Uh, the only reason why we see accounts payable module here is because of this custom task that I've made before. But if I were to click on it, she isn't authorized to access the program. And what she's allowed to go into is just cash receipts entry. And that's how you create a user and a role in Sage 100. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.